Here is a photo that I took in the Galapagos Islands of an iguana. Uh, but what I want to do is to emphasize the animal and to blur the background or the foreground. This is taken with a cheap camera. Were I taking this with an expensive camera, I'd have a very narrow depth of field so that the background will be blurred and the foreground will be blurred and the animal in the center will be in focus. But I can create exactly the same effect using the mask and the photo enhanced features of Designer 6. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm first going to blur the background and all I need to do is to go into the mask tool. This puts a pink film over the whole image um, and now I can just freehand draw around the area that I want to blur. It doesn't need to be accurate. Uh, and you can see this is, the this is the area that I'm going to operate on and this is the area that is now protected. So now all I do is to go into the photo tool and I can use any of these adjustments by adjusting your brightness for example. Um, in fact if I let go uh, it's just brightened that area but this area is still selected but I can also just go and select the blur tool um, and I can blur or sharpen that area. This can be a bit subtle to show but what I'm going to do is actually going to put a very large blur value in. The slider here adjusts between plus 100 and minus 100 but if you want to put larger values in you can actually type it. So if I just go and change that to be minus let's say 300 then you can see that the background here has become blurred. So this is sort of the effect I want except the trouble is I've got a very sharp edge to this of course which is not really very realistic. Now I can fix that two ways. Firstly by using the feather control up here to blend the edges but perhaps more usefully I can use a transparency tool to blend this blur effect in and in fact if I just go and click drag down here you can see that I've got a graduated blend of this blur feature here and so I can just do this a bit further beyond here the, bl the blur is probably a bit much that I've got there let's just go back into the photo tool um, I'm actually just going to change that so the blur is not quite so much 200 um, I'm also going to change the contrast of this area um, so I'm going to turn the contrast down, I'm going to turn the color down a bit. Um, okay, so my leaves in the background are blurred. I'm going to do exactly the same to the foreground. I go into the mask tool, I go draw around the foreground. I'm just going to take a straight line across here. Go into the photo tool, blur the foreground. Um, let's just choose a value of 200 here, minus 200 because it's a blur. Um, and again, go into the transparency tool, do a click drag. Actually, I've done it the wrong way, so I've done a drag down there, so it's blurred at the top and sharp at the bottom, but if not, I just drag the other way, um, then uh, you can see that I've got a blurred background becoming, a blurred foreground, I should say, becoming sharp. Okay, and I can keep using the same technique. Let's say I want to enhance the color of just the iguana. Go into the mask tool. I'm very quickly just going to draw around the iguana itself. And I'm, his color is quite bright, but I'm just going to make him just a bit brighter still. Doesn't really need to be accurate. Uh, and go into the photo tool. And in this case, I'm going to adjust the brightness. And you can see that as I adjust the, actually, it's the saturation, the color saturation, I can make him more colorful than he really was. And straight away, that looks good. Uh, if you look in closely, there might be edges that weren't quite right. So again, just with a little bit of feathering, I can just blend the edges. So a combination of effects there. I've blurred the background and the foreground and enhanced the color of the iguana in the picture. And there's my finished result.